Notion is a note taking and productivity app very popular and used by many content creators, students, educators, online entrepreneurs and many others in various fields. Notion has recently announced Notion AI which is the integration of artificial intelligence with Notion app. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use Notion AI, what are its key features. I will show you few examples in different scenarios for using Notion AI. Meanwhile, you will also see how to use Notion as a productivity and note taking application. And at the end of this video, I will briefly explain my simple Notion setup which you can adopt to become more productive. So stay tuned and watch full video and I am confident that you will learn a lot. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about various digital products and applications on my channel Digit Idea. If this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell that will be highly appreciated. Notion AI is currently in alpha mode and once you have created a Notion account, you have to join the waitlist. I joined this waitlist I think three weeks ago and now I got the invitation. And when you get the invitation, you will see this screen and you can turn on Notion AI. Now I missed to turn on my Notion AI switch on my invitation screen and the screen was gone. So if you miss that, then you open your Notion account and underneath your profile picture on the left, you will see this settings and members. Click on that and click on settings again. And this is the place where you will see Notion AI. And this switch will be initially in this off position. You click here and you will see this blue color. It means now the Notion AI is turned on. Then you click on update and now you are able to use Notion AI features. Now before I show you a few examples, these are some of the key features of Notion AI. This can be used for getting ideas or brainstorming. You can make an outline on any topic. You can create a script for a blog post or even for a video on any topics. You can also change the tone or the writing style of the blog post or the script. And I will show you the example in a minute. And this is very powerful because you get this normally in paid applications. Then you can write a sales email, you can fix spellings and grammars and you can translate content. And I will show you a use case, very interesting. So these are some of the key features of Notion AI. And now let's see some examples. So I'm sure that you are familiar with Notion app, but if not, I will explain my Notion setup at the end. But basically I have this content idea page, which is open right now, as you can see here. And on this page, I have some YouTube video ideas. And I'm going to show you first simple example, which is this one. So I click on that. This is another page for that specific video and I have done some research on this topic how to convert PowerPoint to Google Slides and I have noticed that the search volume is reasonable and the competition is very low and as you can see that I know two ways to do this but let us assume that I am stuck with writing some advantages of Google Slides over PowerPoint and I want to get some assistance from AI. To do that I select this and this bar will appear and on this on the left hand side I have this ask AI. I click on that and then I have many options here. As you can see that I can improve my current writing, I can fix spellings, I can make the content longer whatever is written. But I want to ask AI what are advantages of using Google Slides over PowerPoint and I press enter. And now you will see this AI is writing and now it is showing me a few advantages and because I have already done this to check this so it is showing me replace. If you do this first time you will see the done button. So I click on replace and it will put all those advantages here. Now if I want to make it a little longer I can select this click ask AI and click make longer. And now it will create a longer content and I click replace and now I get this. I am using Grammarly app at the moment but if you are not using you can fix the spelling errors using Notion AI as well. Now let us see another example. So I click on one of my pages and this is about my website and I have two blog posts in the pipeline. So I click on the first one and now I click here under the title and the second way to access 
Notion AI is simply by hitting the space bar. And now I will see all these artificial intelligence options in my Notion app. I can brainstorm ideas about this topic. I can write a blog post or I can write an outline. I can also write a press release and a social media post. I can also create a story on this topic. So you can practice all this, but I am going to show you my favorite example, which is the outline. So I click on this and it will type write outline about and then I simply put this topic how to use ShareX for screen recording and I press enter. And now as you can see that there is a done button or I can ask AI to make it longer. So in this case I am going to just click on done and now it has given me some outline. I can write a blog post on the same topic and now if I want to continue writing I can hit space bar and then click on continue writing and now it will continue writing on this topic. If I click on make longer it will make this a little longer. You can create a summary of your post as well. Let's say I select this ask AI and then I click summarize and now I can replace or I can insert in addition to the previous paragraph. So if I click on insert this summary will be inserted here and if I want I can click here I can put a heading here summary and I can drag this under my heading. So in this way you can get some new ideas, some outlines. At this point I would like to state that we are not going to use AI for creating actual content. Instead we are going to use this to spark some ideas and to explore new things in the area in which we are creating content and then we create our original content based on those new ideas and outlines that we get from artificial intelligence because creating content purely by using artificial intelligence is against Google's policy and Google has the ability to detect AI content. So if for example you create a complete blog post using AI that will be the violation of Google's content policy and you may be penalized and this is not what we want but it doesn't mean that AI is not useful. AI is still useful for all these purposes as I mentioned. Now let us see another example. I have one page about instructions for team members. Let us assume that I am using two people from Fiverr. One for creating the thumbnails for my YouTube channel and one for video editing. So I have assembled some guidelines for these freelancers to help in my channel. For example, these are my guidelines for creating thumbnails for my channel. And the person, the freelancer, does not understand English. So I can share these instructions and if they have a Notion account and they have obtained Notion AI access, so what that person can do is, and let us assume that the freelancer is from Philippines and then what he can do is he can translate this by selecting this and click on Ask AI and click on Translate and then there are only few languages available at the moment and one is this Filipino. If he clicks on that AI will translate these instructions into his own language. So this is another very useful way of using Notion AI when communicating between team members. And now he can insert this and within few seconds he has the guidelines in his own language. Now another interesting feature is if I select this paragraph, click on Ask AI and click on Change Tone and click on Friendly. So now AI will put some other keywords to make this part friendly. As you can see that instead of just download, it has put just grab the file. So in this way, you can change the tone of your content or the writing style. And now I can click either replace or insert. So in this case, I should hit replace. I'm going to show you two more examples. One is about marketing, how you can market your products. So this is my marketing page in my Notion account. And I'm using this page to put my strategy for each of my online courses and some of my PDF products. 
that I'm selling on Gumroad or Amazon. And sometimes I want to promote these products and want to send an email to my email subscribers. And in this situation, sometimes I think what to write. So I think this is one of the best use case for Notion AI sales emails. So let me show you how to do that. So this is one of my product and this is a diary, physical diary that I created for PhD students and I'm currently selling on Amazon. And I want to promote this to my email subscribers. To do that, I click here and then I hit the space bar to bring this Notion AI dialog box. And at the end, if I click on see more, I have this sales email option. I click on that and now it will show me write sales email about and then I type digit idea diary one which is a notebook useful for PhD students with some prompts for them to become more productive and finish PhD in time. So I give a brief description of my product and now I press enter. And now I can send this email to my email subscribers. Now the last example is what I think is the most common use of Notion AI. And to demonstrate that I create a new page and I title this page as AI art, which is also an emerging technology that you can create art simply by typing text in AI art generators like Mid Journey, DALI 2 and Stable Diffusion. So this is a hot topic in artificial intelligence and let us assume that I want to get some post ideas about AI art. To do that, I click space bar after making this page and now at the top I have brainstorm ideas about making videos on AI art and AI art generator and I press enter. And now it has given me 10 video ideas about AI art and AI art generators. So this is the most common use and therefore at the top of the AI features in Notion AI, I click done to insert this. And now at the end, as promised, I'm going to explain briefly how I'm using Notion as a note taking app. As you can see that I have different pages and my setup is very simple. Let me show you one page about online course ideas. So I create this page and then I inserted this cover page and I designed this cover page in Canva in my free time. And now on this page, I have two ideas for my future courses. So let us click on the first course. This is another page for this particular course, how to create online courses. This is the name of my potential future course. And whenever I get any video idea, I capture that on this page. I have done some homework and I have decided that I'm going to make this course. I am using Notion in the most simplistic way. There are many fancy ways to use Notion. There are a lot of templates available. People are selling their Notion templates in few dollars and you can purchase and you can use them straight away. But I am using Notion in a very simplistic way. So if I click here, now I can type whatever I want to put in this video, some points. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.